Oh my God, I'm in the semifinals. This time last year, I was cooking in my teeny little electric stove kitchen in Philadelphia with my cat. And now this is my chance to shine. Courtney, Leslie and Elizabeth, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. You are the final three in the biggest culinary competition in the world. <sighs> this is the semifinal. So, as well as winning a quarter of a million dollars and your very own cookbook, one of you is only a few dishes away from winning this. The coveted Master Chef Trophy. I did a wonderful job taking care of my wife and my children. My goal now is to do something for me. That trophy will change my life forever. For me, that trophy is my ticket to publish my own cookbook, which I've been dreaming of for years. For this challenge, we want you to cook a special dish for some very special guests. Each and every one of those guests is perfectly placed to judge your food because each of tonight's guests are all chefs. Oy. We have one amazing professional chef from each and every state in this country. 50 chefs. Tonight, you'll have to serve them in the MasterChef restaurant a composed MasterChef worthy entree. But prepping and cooking for 50 chefs, come on, it's impossible for you to do it alone. So, tonight, we've brought you some help. <laughs> I see Willie, Daniel, Aron, Victoria, Christian, and Jamie to boot. I was down in a pressure test with every one of them. You counted me out. The old man's still standing. It's wonderful being back. Getting the call to come back is Totally, like, awesome. With your future and fortune at stake, there's only really one fair way to decide who you will be working with. Fortune cookies. You'll each randomly take two fortune cookies, and whichever name is inside that fortune cookie will be your sous chefs tonight. Please, all three of you, come up and take two cookies each. That's fine. Courtney, please open one of those cookies and tell us who you have. Daniel. Good job. Oh, nice to call me. Thank you. Leslie. I got what I wished for. Iran. Iran. Yeah. For some reason, I knew this was going to happen. Like, something about my fate is always in Leslie's hands. Elizabeth, please open up one of those fortune cookies. Jamie. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Courtney, please open your final fortune cookie. Big Willie. Big Willie. <laughs> wow. Leslie. All my dreams come true. Yeah. Christian. <laughs> wow. I know a chef when I see one. How you doing, brother? Elizabeth, you have Victoria. Yeah, what's up, young? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right here. What are the odds? Now, we want restaurant quality, elevated entrees good enough to be eaten by the best chefs in the country. You will have just 90 minutes to conceive, prep, and plate your stunning dishes. You are one step away from the finale. It's all on the line tonight. Your 90 minutes starts now. Christian, let's go down here. There's going to be 50 chefs from all over the country in the dining room critiquing our food. I mean, that's crazy. I'm doing a, a prime filet. I'm going to make an herb gnocchi, lots of butter. If you can just get the fish out, I'll meet you over there. It's a dream come true, but it's also terrifying to cook for that many amazing chefs. We're going to make skin-on, pan-seared red snapper filets with cauliflower three ways and a really awesome Mediterranean relish. Daniel, have you seen lemongrass yet? If we think it's hard getting anything past Chef Ramsay, Chef Elliot, and Joe, 
it's gonna be 50 times harder getting it past all of these chefs. We're doing a ginger soy glazed halibut with a beet dashi broth, golden beets. We're also doing a chili sauce here too. Okay. Let's do this. I think that's it. Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. Four and a half cups of hot water. I need a bigger. A bigger pot? I'll go get it. You need the Japanese turner so it, you can it's start got this. It right here. Okay. This is it. What a big night. I mean, it's as much pressure tonight as it is in the final. 50 chefs in your dining room? Come on. Even for a professional chef, it's a big ask. No, not there yet. So Courtney picked halibut with kind of an Asian twist. If there's one thing chefs hate at the best of times is overcooked fish. Right. Yeah, literally, this fish hangs around two it's minutes like longer. It's powder. Uh, yeah, it goes to mush. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth's dish is doing cauliflower two ways, fancy at risk, not for very seasonal. The yes. dish that caught my attention. Leslie picked the meat. He's going with a filet with gnocchi. I don't know why he's put those two together. What are your herbs for? Herb gnocchi. I think he's looking at the filet as being a star and then trying to come up with a creative side. All right, Chad, done. Thank you. This is just the wrong uh, one. 30 minutes gone. You've now got one hour remaining. Get organized. Two minutes from now, the chefs are arriving. Let's get all of this. No, this is more than enough. Come on, guys, speed up, please. The chefs are arriving. Please welcome tonight's judges, some of the greatest chefs in America. From Mississippi, Kat Cora. Oh, my god. Oh. From Maryland, oh. Michael Voltaggio. From Ohio, Susan Feniger. From Michigan, Duff Goldman. Arizona, Suzanne Tracht. It's like a never-ending parade of famous people that I'm obsessed with. Representing California, Jet Tila. Illinois, Mary Sue Milliken. Oh, my God! From Nevada, Herb Wilson. This is absurd. <laughs> from Missouri, Anthony Caron. John Sedlin from New Mexico. Casey Lane from Texas. Tom Shields from West Virginia. This is huge. We're having some of the best chefs in America sitting down, waiting to taste our food. If I don't bring my A game today, man, I'm going to be in trouble. The pressure is on. Please welcome tonight's judges, some of the greatest chefs in America. It's so incredible. We are serving 50 chefs from 50 different states. It's like all of the cookbooks I've been studying from came to life and just walked into the kitchen right by me. This is amazing. Seeing my idols walk in, oh my god, time to step my game up. It's like, these people don't even know I like worship them and I'm about to cook for them. It's amazing. Let's take a picture, you take a picture. It's pretty awesome. Very exciting. Hey guys, just over 50 minutes until service begins. Courtney. Yes, chef. Wake up now, yeah? Describe the dish. I'm doing Asian ginger soy glazed halibut mm -hmm. with a beet dashi vermicelli. Quite modern, very yes. vibrant. Uh, why halibut? Halibut has a really nice white flaky meat that will complement my sweet sauce. Overcooks easily. I know that. I mean, very unforgiving. Yep. Um, even when I get two chefs in my restaurants, you know, it's a big deal. I've mm -hmm. never had 15 chefs. How are you feeling? Pressure is definitely on, but I'm feeling very confident because I've prepared well, and I know that with good preparation comes good execution. Good luck. Thank you. Three, baby. Only three. We don't want to crowd you too much. Here, take a bite. Whoa, that's Hi. awesome. <laughs> so what's the dish, Elizabeth? Tell me. Um, this is a Mediterranean skin-on red snapper with a watercress puree, a pistachio puree, and cauliflower three ways. It sounds very contemporary. sounds very restaurant-y. Is that what you're going for? Absolutely. Out of the three of us, I have the most restaurant-y, chef-y dish, and I think that's the perfect audience for what I'm cooking. But is it really a good exciting. strategy to propose such a chef-y dish to 50 chefs? Yeah. Good luck. Leslie. Yes, sir. Tell me what the dish is. It's a eight ounce filet with uh, summer vegetables, herb gnocchi with uh, mushrooms and a demi glazed red wine sauce. I've never in my life seen filet and gnocchi mixed together, though. Listen, you told me to reach for the stars. I'm reaching for the stars. I'm throwing something down. It's very tasty. Thank you. Beautiful. 25 minutes remaining. Let's go. 
so excited to have these 50 chefs here. It's amazing. amazing. These chefs will decide who wins this challenge and goes straight to the finale of Master Chef. So you? I hope that these home cooks do us proud. Elizabeth's team is amazing, very harmonious. She's controlling it, she's dictating the terms, and they're listening. Jamie, test that cauliflower for me. It's really kind of impressive to watch. Wow. Turn off the burners. They're definitely cooked. Okay. Daniel, can you get me a fish spatula? Thank you. Courtney's on the hand. Halibut. You don't really start recommending halibut for a large no, contingent, no, no. especially chefs. It's not the fish you'd give them, is it? No, there's no fat in it. It goes dry right away. And then to do it in an Asian style for the first time ever in this competition. One more minute. I think she's playing without a net. Get, get the vegetables squared away. I need the mushrooms cut, too. Leslie is so confident about this dish. You got to be almost stiff. Taste one. Stiff? Yeah. You got it. This is going to be incredible. Taste, taste, taste. You want a nice texture. He's just in the driver's seat right now. It's off enough for me. Way too hard. Way too hard. Incredible. Neoki's done. What can I do for you? Set plates up. Yeah? If I had to hire one of these three home cooks as a chef in my restaurant today, it would be Leslie. Wow. He's on fire. Wow. Right, Lady, watch. Ah. Careful, careful, careful. Come on, Leslie, watch out, man. Take off, take off, take off, take off. I've got it, Leslie. I've no got problem. it. Damn, damn, damn. Sorry. When it rains, it pours. 15 minutes remaining. Got to start clearing down, get organized, lay out the plates, count the plates. Let's go. Letting down my culinary idols would be unthinkable. So plating is more critical than ever. So just a little spoonful right in the middle. Let it kind of fall as it will. Because you are serving it to people who look at every dish with the eyes of a chef. Beautiful, Ron. Beautiful. All right, let's whack it. Whack it. A couple more gnocchi on this plate. You got it. Thank you. Leslie's plating, Elizabeth's plating. Sauce at the end here. I got the sauce. Courtney's got nothing on the plate bar her name. Still the same game plan with the plating. Daniel. Yes, Chef. Uh, is anyone going to start plating? Getting direction. Yes, what sir. Getting is direction. anybody going to start plating? Noodles are ready. You want to start going with Courtney? Yes, Chef. Is anybody going to start plating? I'm telling him to start plating right now. We need to step up a gear, guys. We're going right now. Guys, don't forget, in the restaurant, we have a chef from every state in America. Let's go, guys. Come on. All of you, speed up. Courtney's got no plates, Trish. We've got 12 minutes to go. All I need to hear is what goes in the vermicelli. I keep telling you, it's all of the noodles and this sauce. Here, you do it yourself. Willie and Daniel, do you have any idea what's going on? That's what I'm trying to get details on, Chef. I've said it more Say than it enough again. times. So let's do that right now. Oh, my God. Make it happen. Make I it happen. I did what you told me to do. Okay. Eight minutes to go. You don't do want to toss it in the get box? Get going. No, just get going. Put the noodles oh. down. We got to get it on the plate, OK? Yep, yep. We, we got to get it on okay, the plate. OK, keep it cool. This is my worst nightmare coming to life. Uh, Finish worst, all of them. Oh, my goodness me. This is insane. Eight minutes to go. With time running out in tonight's semifinal challenge, the final three home cooks must conceive and cook a restaurant-quality dish for 50 of the biggest culinary names in the country. We're looking for flavor. We're looking for a presentation. This is Master Chef, and although they're home cooks, I'm looking for raw talent. I'm expecting culinary magic, and I came here hungry. Last two minutes. Just make it happen. Make I it did happen. what you told me to do. Okay. This is insane. You don't do want to toss it in the get box? Get going. No, just get going. Put the noodles down. Don't start yelling now. Don't start yelling now. We got to get it on the don't plate. Okay? We, we gotta get it on okay, the plate. keep it cool. My name is on the plate. A little bit more noodles. It doesn't say Daniel or Big Willie. It says Courtney. Sauce? There's no sauce on that one. We got to do sauce. Where's the Willie, sauce Willie, get the, the red sauce. It's right in front of you. Turn around. There's no fish on this one. And I'm not OK with how they look. This looks like crap. 45 seconds to go. All right, let's push it out. Looking good, y'all. Let's go, guys. Come on. Ooh, watch out. Watch out. 10, 9, 8, let's go. 7, Six, come on, five, come on, you guys. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Here come the servers. Really careful, guys, because they're stacked pretty tall. Gentle, like a lover. Gently. Wow, 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 wow. The filet came out beautifully. The gnocchi looks great. Everything looks perfect. Courtney. Leslie and Elizabeth, please say goodbye and thank you to your sous chefs. Bye, Buddy. guys. 
I'm so sorry. It's okay, honey. Bye. So sorry. Love you. Bye, you guys. Having my dream team by my side was amazing, but at the end of the day, this is my plate. I own it, I'm proud of it, and I'm hyper confident. Okay, Elizabeth, Leslie, and Courtney, like all three of you, to come with us into the Master Chef restaurant and explain to our 50 chefs from 50 states what you've cooked for them tonight. Let's go. As an aerial dancer, I've been on a stage in front of huge audiences for most of my life, and I'm starting to feel scared right now. Ladies and gents, uh, chefs, first of all, what a great honor it is to have you all here. First ever in the history of this competition that we can get such an elaborate array of talent in one room. Courtney, describe your dish, please. Tonight, I have prepared for you a pan-seared halibut that I've glazed with ginger and soy. Beneath that is a beet dashi vermicelli, and surrounding the plate is a guayiro chili sauce. Looks good. Thank you. Leslie, please. My plate tonight is an uh, eight ounce filet that was pan roasted with uh, herb gnocchi and some summer vegetables and uh, wine reduction. Uh, Elizabeth, please. I've made for you a pan seared skin on red snapper with cauliflower three ways, harissa roasted, white cauliflower puree, and a purple cauliflower couscous, and a little pistachio puree. Great. Courtney, Leslie, Elizabeth, please head back in to MasterChef Kitchen while these amazing chefs taste your dishes. Uh, please look at the dishes, uh, break it down, reward creativity, flair, imagination, and of course, obviously, it's about the taste. Enjoy, and a big thank you again for making the effort to be here. Oh, my God, I want to know what they're saying in there. <sighs> They're probably loving the idea of your cauliflower couscous. Being a seafood chef, my first and foremost is going to be the fish, but she's also taking that nice. same attention to the vegetables. She really did do cauliflower three ways. She's got three different textures, three different preparations, three different colors, three different flavors. Every single component works separately, and it works together. Could use a little bit of seasoning, but you can taste the cauliflower. So you kind of went like an Asian flavor profile. That's interesting. Yeah. The judges kept saying to me, what haven't you show us? So I was like, I'll show you Asian. Courtney did a good job cooking the fish. The halibut's cooked nice. Mm -hmm. I do like the flavor of the broth on the noodles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very sophisticated. You could have this in an upscale restaurant. She knocked it out of the park with that dish. It could use more sauce. Yeah, when I heard you were doing gnocchi for that many people, I was like, this man has gone insane. Oh, well, mine seemed fine. Everything the gnocchi held up, it was tough, though. Although steak is safe, gnocchi is not safe. It's a gamble to try to cook a gnocchi for, for not just chefs, but for anybody. Flavor-wise, it's, it's delicious, it's seasoned, the meat is cooked perfectly. This would be a dish I'd order in a restaurant, like beef and mushrooms and red wine, classic combination. They're like good elements, but it's kind of, it's a little disjointed. Mm. I have to say, this is my choice right here. Uh, I would agree. I, I definitely think Elizabeth stole the show, yeah. I'd sell this dish in my restaurant. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go with Leslie. Things are cliches for a reason. Is it culinary genius? Maybe not. I loved it. Courtney, look how beautiful this is. Look at that. Perfect. There you go. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Perfect. walk in and I see the chorus line of amazing chefs, they are going to send someone right into the finale. The home cook that we'd like to invite down here. My dish should be Leslie and Elizabeth's because it's original. It's showing chef-like qualities. The individual with the dish of the night. I need to win. I need to get up on that balcony and be number one. Or otherwise, I don't know, another pressure test, number seven. I mean, come on, really? Congratulations goes to... Wow. The individual with the dish of the night. Congratulations goes to...
Elizabeth. Amazing. I am so happy. I get to walk through the hallway of chefs. I'm in the finale, and I am thrilled beyond words. Well done. Please head up to the balcony. There's a very cool glass of champagne waiting for you. Great job. <laughs> Leslie and Courtney, please make your way down. <laughs> On behalf of everybody here at MasterChef, I'd like to say a big special thank you to our talented chefs standing behind you. Much appreciated. Hope to see you again. Thank you. So now it's between me and Courtney. I am psyched about this. I'm not going to let anything get in my way, and I'm going to get this thing done. Uh, Courtney and Leslie, well done. Um, tough challenge tonight. Unfortunately, not in the same league as Elizabeth. Now, both of you will face perhaps the most grueling and the most important pressure test you've ever done in this competition, where only one of you will join Elizabeth in the grand final of MasterChef. Next time we see you, it's going to be intense. There have been seven other people who have tried to send Leslie home in the pressure test, and they've failed. This is my chance to send him back to Malibu. Today, I'm going into the biggest battle of my life. I can do this. I can make this happen. I will be in the finale. Welcome. Good to see you both. Come on down, please. Elizabeth is the first person to be catapulted into the MasterChef finale. The task now is to find out which one of you two will be facing Elizabeth. In the previous challenge, we had you make an incredibly complex, composed entree. Now it's time for dessert. But not just any dessert, three desserts that celebrate the greatness of America, the United Cakes of America. <laughs> First up, you have something that I am very familiar with, a proud staple of my hometown. New York cheesecake. Tangy, rich cream cheese filling nestled in a crisp graham cracker crust, topped with a beautiful strawberry coulis. Next up, from the great state of Florida, we have key lime pie. Tangy, smooth, bursting with fresh flavor, and it's all about balance, sweet versus tart. Next up, you have another great American regional dessert. From the great state of Massachusetts, you have a delicious Boston cream pie. Two gorgeous layers of sponge with a phenomenal cream filling between them. And then the whole thing is covered in a stunning chocolate ganache. This is a tall order for anybody. And for someone who doesn't bake, this is a nightmare. Courtney, Leslie, um, any last words for each other? If she wins fair and square, fine with me. But I'm not going down sleeping, that's for damn sure. Now. It's time to head to your stations. You have two hours to make us all three incredibly challenging desserts from different parts of this great country. You all have everything that you need to make these three difficult desserts. Bake better than you've ever baked before, because if you don't, it'll be the last time you'll be making anything here in the MasterChef kitchen. Your time starts. Now. So, Leslie, seventh pressure test tonight. Wouldn't that freak you out if you're Courtney? We've always known she's a baker, so she got the luck of the draw on this challenge. Yeah, but sure. I mean, Leslie's excelled too, so it's not like one-sided, like she was given an advantage with this. No. But tonight's it's all about nerves of steel. One mistake for nine You have to cook with composure. I'm freaking losing time right now. I'm not freaking getting done what I need to get done. I'm going to beat Leslie because I've been baking cakes for ever. I love baking cakes. This is one of my favorite things to do. I can see myself in the finale already. Months ago, it would take them two hours to do one cake. Right. Tonight, we're asking them to do all three. 
in two hours. What cake has to go first? Get that cheesecake in the oven immediately because you haven't got time. It's the longest cook time? It's an hour to cook. An hour? An hour to cook and then cool. <sighs> I gotta get moving, man. After that, start tackling the Boston cream pie because that sponge. You gotta bake the sponge. Oh, man. That is a difficult one. Then from there, start on the easiest one, I think, which is the key lime pie. Right. Cream. You have to have that lime zest and you want that acidity to come through. But the cheesecake is the big one that needs to go in the oven in the first 20 minutes. 25 minutes gone, 95 minutes to go. Let's keep this going, Courtney. Keep it going. Right, Courtney, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling incredible. Cheesecake's in? Cheesecake is in, chef. Now you look composed, you look together. Can you do this? Absolutely. I can totally do this. This is what I love to do. I've never seen anyone so happy in a pressure test. I know. You OK? Yeah, I'm great. I'm not just a girl wearing high heels. I'm a girl that can cook. Good luck. Thank you. Spoon, 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 spoon. Let's keep this going. I noticed Courtney talking herself through the challenge. You gotta fold it gently. Yes. She's like, it looks beautiful now. I just have to put the cream of tartar in. Beautiful. Yes, yes it looks beautiful. Cornstarch. Yeah. Leslie talks himself too, but he's like, hey, hey, hey what do I gotta put the, yeah, I got the like, cream of tartar and I got the, the gotta whip the lemon meringue. <laughs> It's like you feel like seven separate voices talking to him in his own head. Leslie, how are we doing? I'm not doing so, so good, not man. Doing so no, good. I'm not wrong? doing so good, man. This is not my well, strength, look, I know. man. Well, you just got to slow down, take a breath. Which cake is that? This is the cheesecake. Courtney's cheesecake is cooked already. Yeah, because she's she's a baker. No, the, you know, she's uh, the cook. Yes, I understand. You want to know what? Why are I you understand? so far behind? I, mean, I don't do this. This is not my forte. The timing of the cheesecake leaves you no net. No, no net whatsoever. It might not even cool down in time. I am so frazzled. I got too many things going through my head. Got to get this thing in the oven, or otherwise I'm going to be screwed. Unless there's a miracle, this cheesecake is not going to cook. Party might be over. Still to come tonight, it's the Master Chef finale. But which of these home cooks will battle Elizabeth for the Master Chef title? America's next Master Chef is. Which cake is that? This is the cheesecake. This is not my forte. This is not my one of my strengths. It does set you behind a little bit. Yes, it does. It do you have any? Do you have does. any progress on the other cakes? Or you just been yes, doing I do. It? No, I just gotta get. I gotta get it. Slow I down, gotta... slow down, slow down. I gotta relax a little. Bit. No, I can't. You know, I'm always on the verge of a nervous breakdown, but I'm not going there. Baby, who's your daddy? Leslie is a bit all over the place. He just put the cheesecake in. We're not even sure if he has enough time to cool it down. Leslie has fallen behind on the cheesecake. Maybe it's going to make up for the two. So key lime pie is the simplest, but also really there is a balancing act between sweet and sour. How do you manage that? If it's too acidic, then you add more sugar. If it's too sweet, then you need to add a little bit more citrus. So you've got to find that balance. Boston cream pie is the difficult one. The secret in the sponge is the aeration, incorporating those eggs and the butter and the sugar. What's a perfect Boston cream? That is the base of a, a great pastry cream. Mm -hmm. But again, too heavy in that, they can split the sponge. Leslie's pulling this cheesecake out. But the big question tonight is, is Leslie's New York cheesecake cooked? Right. 30 minutes remaining. Let's go. OK, I can get my cheesecake, and I can finish the cheesecake, and everything will all be good in the world. Time's a ticking. I'm taking a licking. But guess what? These are done, so I'm happy about that. Oh, my cheesecake is gorgeous. Courtney, how are we doing? Oh, I'm doing so good. How does it feel to be in here now? I mean, the semi-final. This is how I want to do it. This is how I want to enter the finale. This is just me versus Leslie in a kitchen. This is how I want to win it. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you, Chef Elliot. Look at Leslie go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That looks good. Oh, she's going to drop it if he's not careful. Pallet knife. Palette knife, Leslie. It will fall off. It will slide off. Yeah. <laughs> so tarts are both done. Cheesecakes are both done. Now it comes down to the Boston cream pie. Courtney's just taking her sponge out. But you can see Leslie right now. You have these nice, beautiful ones. It's not going to be from a lack of trying. That's for freaking days. You can start to see the stress on Courtney's face. Yeah. It's really low right there. 
there. Winning this pressure test is your ticket right to the finale. And Leslie probably has the upper hand just by virtue of the fact that he's been through so many pressure tests. I mean, it's like his second job at this point, and he seems to be coming back. Gentle, baby, gentle, 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 gentle. Less than 15 minutes to go. Now it's going to be the most exciting, because that's when they have to start assembling them. Right. And you'll just visually, you'll know whether you're going home or going to join right. Elizabeth in the finale. Leslie's about to start filling his Boston cream pie. Looks good, wow. Yeah, uh, pastry cream looks nice. Oh, my God. It's going to fall over. Oh, oh nice. no. Oh, my gosh, she's putting it in oh. directly. I just got to do it like this. Courtney's cakes look a little uneven, like her pastry cream is oozing out from the middle. Right now, Courtney is completely falling apart. Last five minutes. Son of a bitch. He's a madman. Last minute, guys. Finishing touches, please. Come on, place in the final. For one of you, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Hands in the air. Good job. Courtney's cheesecake looks like you Googled the perfect cheesecake. It is completely flawless. So the knife is going through very nicely. It's nice and smooth. OK, here we go. How does that look? Hey, it looks delicious. The crust is crispy. The cream cheesecake itself is light, airy, rich, smooth. Very good. Thank you. OK, Leslie. Yes. Less aesthetically appealing, but as we say, it's all about the taste. Ooh. Yeah, see, it looks a You see, that looks super creamy, super like. Yes, right there. Raw. Let's taste it, though. The graham cracker crust is a little is burnt. Yeah. It tastes like burnt chocolate chip cookies. You know that flavor? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Given the circumstances, I would say you both did a pretty good job with those cheesecakes. Thank you. One looked much more like the cake we were asking for and tasted closer to what we were expecting. The best cheesecake tonight belongs to Courtney. Congratulations. Thank you. Courtney. What do you think? I was a little over excited with the blowtorch. Yeah, it looks like key lime s'mores. It's very sweet. Okay. You know, with key lime pie, I love that sharp acidic tang coming through and this is uh it's almost obliterated the only lime i'm really getting is from the zest over the top okay all right so leslie anything i should know about this oh no this one i kind of uh hit it on the mark the flavor is awesome it's got that zing to it the curd baked perfectly Great texture. You nailed it. Great job. Well, thank you, sir. Key lime pie. With everything, it comes down to the details. The winning key lime pie belongs to Leslie. Great job on that key lime pie. Thank you, chef. I definitely won the key lime. Now we got to go to the Boston Cream. Whoever wins this is going into the finale. I'm watching this pastry cream ooze out the sides, and I'm just seeing myself walking out of the master chef doors. So it comes down to the Boston cream pie. Courtney. Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. I know. Now just have a little look at that. 
mine's quite even on the top, at least. Um, I'm not talking about the unevenness. Um, I'm talking about the slurry and the sludge that's oozing out of yours. That should be stuck together. Uh, Leslie. Yes, Chef. Lovely ratio. Sponge slightly too thick, but nice density of pastry cream inside. Please, Courtney, Leslie, come round to the front. Thank you. We now have to work out which one of you moves on to the MasterChef grand finale. Please um, give us a minute. Thank you. There's yeah. no cream in there, is there? Awesome cream pie is about the cream. Yeah, sauce. it's like a liquid center cake. Leslie's had a great pastry. Oh, there's something really weird tasting at the bottom. It's like a weird bread. Mm -hmm. You need a little more sugar or something. Yeah, I think it's kind of this. It's wrong with it. Something major. It all comes down to the Boston cream pie, and it seems like Leslie's has the edge. Uh, Courtney, you had highs and lows. Insufficient pastry cream, pastry cream slightly liquid, top heavy in terms of good ganache, lovely sponge. Leslie, visually incredible. Great pastry cream, ganache, delicious. But something very odd came to mind whilst tasting the sponge. Just have a taste of that, please. You know what's wrong with that sponge. You put the salt in place of the sugar. I may have, yes. The home cook who made the best Boston cream pie. And the person who will now move in to the MasterChef finale and face off against Elizabeth, that person is Courtney. My God. Congratulations. You did amazing. Job. Good job. Made a simple mistake. Not a problem. My God. I was certain that I was going home. Wow. I feel bad for Leslie. It was such an honest mistake. <sighs> Seven pressure tests. <laughs> Finally, one got you. Yeah, you know what? I figured my luck kind of ran out after six, and she just happened to knock me off my pedestal. <laughs> Everyone in America who's ever baked more than one cake, including myself, has made the same exact mistake that you made tonight. Leslie, you have been phenomenal. And for anybody out there that ever tells me again that cooking is a young man's game, you've turned that around on its head. <laughs> Come on, say goodbye, man. It's a pleasure meeting you guys. You guys are my idol. <laughs> right, uh, two talented individuals. Who is your money on? I'm sorry, Courtney, but I would definitely put my money on Elizabeth. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you again, Chef. Awesome. All right. I'm the stay-at-home dad that came here to win, and I was doing a pretty damn good job up until the salt part. This is a great-looking pie. You really nailed it. Awesome dish. You're up at the top right now. All of you, right now, get your ass down here, quickly. That's what I call a box of donuts. Wow. I learned a lot. I mean, I didn't expect to make it this far. I met interesting people. Some liked me, some didn't like me. I can hear you. No. I don't need to look at you. I need you to Listen look to me. at me. You're not sorry at all. I did not expect to work out my differences with this young lady. Not only are you becoming a better cook, you're also becoming more likable somehow. You're my idol. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you too, Leslie. <laughs> 
outside of getting married and having my children being born, this has to be one of those great things in my life that I will remember forever.